Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Today I'm doing something um, a little bit different, quite exciting, and something that has actually been very highly requested. Recently I was sent the Sailor Venus cosplay from lightinthebox.com. I was sent the actual cosplay, the wig, and the shoes to do a review on. The thing is that the product does not quite live up to the product images. There are a lot of discrepancies between the two, so I thought instead of doing a more traditional review, I thought instead I would walk you guys through some steps that I've taken to alter the cosplay to make it more faithful to the product images. And luckily, though it does have a lot of discrepancies between it and the product images, there is totally room to actually tweak it to make it more faithful to the product images and just overall make it fit me better and make it more accurate. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be walking you guys through the process uh, that I went through to kind of revamp this cosplay a little bit. So without any further ado, let's jump into it. So to start with, here's a comparison between the cosplay and the product image. As you can see, while the skirt and the collar look good, the actual cosplay doesn't fit as well and isn't as crisp as in the product image, and there are a couple of little inaccuracies to the actual character design. My first step was to start on the actual dress and make it more form-fitting. I decided to add three darts, two in the chest and one in the back, to help make the bodice fit me better. I first turned the cosplay inside out, added pins where I wanted each dart to go, and then sewed them in on the sewing machine. The other major mod I wanted to do to the bodice was to make the shoulder pads bigger, since the existing ones are quite small and not super visible. To do this, I just patterned out some bigger ones and then sewed them directly on top of the existing ones. Next, I moved on to the bow in the back. While it's a nice size and accurate color, its only method of attachment was a safety pin and it didn't come with a whole lot of structure. So to fix this, I started by stitching the base of it directly to the dress and then to make the sides of it stand up, I just sewed those directly to the back of the dress as well. The choker was too big for me, so I just took it apart and then sewed it back together in a smaller size. The next piece was the tiara. I wanted the tiara to look like the one in the original product image, so I decided to make my own out of EVA foam. I started by tracing the original tiara to get the general shape, but I made it smaller. I then cut out two smaller pieces out of craft foam for the edges, and then glued all the pieces together and shaped them using a heat gun. Once this was done, I used some caulking to fill in the gaps between each of the foam pieces just for a cleaner look. Finally, I primed the whole thing with Mod Podge and painted it with gold acrylic paint and then went over that with another layer of Mod Podge just to give it a glossy finish and then added an elastic and a gem to finish it off. Next up, we have the shoes. The ones I was sent do make a good base shoe, however, the color doesn't quite match the rest of the costume, so I just gave them a repaint and also replaced the straps with thicker ones just to be more accurate. The front bow, while a good size and made of a reasonable material, was a little bit too green for my liking, and the heart in the middle does leave much to be desired. So I decided to just remake the whole thing in a more accurate color and add a circular piece instead of the heart. Another part I decided to remake were the gloves, since the original ones don't fit me at all. I decided that just remaking them would be faster and easier than trying to alter the existing ones, so all I did was just remove the cuffs from the original gloves and added them to a new pair that I made following Yaya Han's glove pattern. Overall, I'm really, really happy with these new gloves. Finally, we have the wig. I actually don't mind the wig too much. I think it's a little bit on the shiny side, but aside from that, it's not too bad. The only thing I had to do for this was just cut in some bangs, and this was super quick and easy to do. As well, since the cosplay didn't come with the red hair bow, I just made my own out of scrap fabric, and I also took the liberty of adding long tails to it just so that I can use it with other cosplays. And that's it. So now let's take a look. Here was the cosplay before. And here it is after. And there you have it. That is what I did to alter this Sailor Venus cosplay. And I have to say, I'm very happy with how it came out. I hope this gives you guys some ideas of how you can alter pre-made cosplays to make them fit you better or make them more accurate. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for joining me. Again, I hope you found this helpful. I hope it maybe gave you guys some ideas for your own, maybe cosplay mods or what have you. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Really appreciate it. I'll see you guys all next time. But until then, Panda Faces, please be sure to take care. Bye.